Australia Day wasn't called Australia Day until 1935, as it was first known as First Landing Day or Foundation Day. It wasn't even a public holiday until 1994. So how did it get started and how has it changed over the years? The New South Wales government organised a festival in 1938 to celebrate the arrival of the first fleet on Australian shores. It even showed reenactments of Captain Arthur Phillip landing in Sydney. But the day has always had controversy, with at least 100 First Nation Australians gathering at the first festival to protest a celebration on what was a very dark day for them. A day that is known widely now as Invasion Day. These protesters demanded citizenship within their own country, along with additional basic human rights, like the right to vote and earn a pension. These protests would then slowly spread across the country, reaching national levels some 50 years later. Now, many are calling for the date of Australia Day to be changed, while others remain steadfast in its staying where it is with recent polling showing 63% of Australians want to keep the date. Every year, countless Aussies take the 26th of January off work to see their friends, their family, flock to the beach, have a barbie and take it easy and celebrate our wonderful country. Thousands of others participate in Invasion Day rallies and protests around the country. Others will remember it as a day of mourning that changed the course of their ancestors' history forever. Personally, nothing makes me prouder than being Australian, born and bred Aussie. They don't call us the lucky country for nothing. I can talk on here freely and call our Prime Minister Anthony Albanese a dickhead without fear of prosecution. We can send our kids safely to school without worrying about school shootings. And we all have the freedom to be who we want to be. It's sad that we don't have a day we can all enjoy. So maybe the question we need to really ask ourselves is this. Is it time for us to part ways with our colonial roots and become a republic? Celebrate Independence Day. Perhaps that is the referendum that should have happened last year. A chance for all of us to be united because we are so bloody lucky to call Australia home.